I want some of y'all for sure. Cause you are good. I want some of y'all for sure. Cause you are good. I want some of y'all for sure. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're watching comment, hey, I'm your girl, Kayla. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more reasons about black entertainment, black womanhood, and whatever I can say for us talk about this week. All right, let's get right into it. So it's been a hot minute since we did a weekly pop culture wrap up. And so we are here to discuss the many happenings on the social media, as well as just in the pop culture landscape in the past couple of weeks. We have so many things to discuss. So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to discuss is the discourse that had been going on in the past week about the um, sex scene with Chloe Bailey and Damson Idris on the new Amazon Prime series Swarm okay and this was really more so people were the talk about it has kind of died down at this point because the show has been streaming um, available on streaming for the past week or so but I still want to talk about it because it was absolutely ridiculous so as I said Chloe Bailey um, was recently on a show called Swarm on Amazon Prime it is um, co-created by Donald Glover himself okay and um, Chloe Bailey in the show plays the main character Dre's best friend um, and roommate and all those things and in the very first episode the very one of the very first scenes there is a sex scene with Chloe Bailey and Damson Idris you know Damson Idris Lori Harvey's new mans um but yeah they're supposed to be dating in the show they have a sex scene it's literally less than 20 seconds long um you really don't see much of Chloe like they're both naked as I mean as naked as people are in these type of scenes what you see of Chloe's body is her butt crack which is not really that nuts honestly um like it's not the craziest sex scene I've ever seen um honestly like I said it lasts less than 20 seconds long but yet and still everybody named mama was up in uproar about it which isn't surprising because we all know Chloe Bailey has become this controversial figure for some reason everything that Chloe Bailey does and to an extent at sometimes Hallie and um, like the both of them have been the talk of the town for the past couple of months but like I said more so Chloe than Hallie and like I said the only time that the Chloe lashings were warranted was the Chris Brown feature so Chris Brown feature was the only time I was like there's nothing I can do for you girl but like <laughs> other than that Chloe really doesn't do much of anything she's literally just being herself and it's always a problem and like I said she's an actress been an actress since for like a very long time now that's what we knew her for you know what I'm saying fighting temptations and meet the Browns and then grownish and you know whatever and this obviously we know her to be a singer in the group with her sister but like I said we also know her to be an actress so for her to be a grown woman in her what almost mid-20s doing a sex scene for less than 20 seconds is all this discourse makes absolutely no sense this is a grown woman this is a girl like I said an actress a person who has talked about sexual situations in her music why are we shocked here what was the problem you would have thought my girl opened up a only fans like y'all would have thought well, it's not a good look for chloe this sexy what exactly isn't a good look about it what isn't a good look about it i thought she was doing porn on Pornhub or one of them things or OnlyFans or something like what do you what is the problem even if she was doing it that's her business but I'm just saying y'all are acting like this is not like you don't know how acting works like and it's crazy kind of like y'all can't be the like I said compared to many other sex scenes I have seen in the past couple of years between HBO Max Showtime stars we can't be the same people watching those shows and we're so critical of this one. Like, I don't get it. Like, what is so confusing about it? Like, I said, this is not nearly as explicit. I said, this cannot be the same group of people who watched Lawrence and Bank Telebay go at it or didn't secure that one time. Y'all know the scene I'm talking about. Y'all know the scene I'm talking about. I swear that scene is like etched into my brain forever and i know it's acting but chill that was something that was 
that was something. Like, it wasn't giving that. It was pretty chill compared to, like I said, stars. Like, can we, do you guys watch, y'all be watching Power and all the many spinners of Power and BMF, and you telling me that this, this is where y'all draw the line? Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Like I said, I just think it's another reason for people to be nasty to Chloe. And it's just like, leave that girl alone. Leave her alone. It, it's, it's just ridiculous. That whole discourse was absolutely nuts. But y'all the same people that talk about some that shows don't need sex scenes. I'm just like, why? Like, I, I've never been part of that brigade because, like, if it works for the scene, if it works for the narrative they're trying to push in a show or whatever, the movie, I'm all for it. Like, hey, if it hits, it hits. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, okay? Like, I don't understand why people act like people... Y'all be the ones having sex in real life and y'all confused with sexy show up in y'all shows. I don't get it. Like, don't, don't be all saintly now. Don't get all saintly on us now. Like, please. But yeah, that joke was ridiculous. Um, I am only on like episode three of Swarm. I know a lot of people have finished it because uh, not that many episodes. And like the episodes themselves are not that long. But I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm almost, I'm going to get through it and we're going to discuss because this show is something okay um but yeah so that's the first thing we're gonna talk about that, that i had to talk about because it was absolutely ridiculous and unserious the second thing i want to talk about is this swv versus escape drama swv and escape have a reality show on i think we tv out right now and um since the show has been going on i guess we've been people have been watching i haven't been watching because i don't even think i have we tv child because if i had we tv i'd be watching love after lockup because that show is reality tv gold um but it's been since the show has come out like there's been some tension some animosity between the two groups and i believe it was candy that tried to come out and say that like escape has more hits than swv and therefore insinuating that like escapes the better group and then it even got, like, Tamar got involved, and then Tamar started spilling some tea about Candy and Todd, child. And I'm just like, that's another conversation for another day. I'm more focused on the SWV versus Escape discussion. And you know what? I blame this all on Versus. I remember when Versus had SWV and Escape go back to back, and I was like, these two groups are nowhere near on the same level. Like, I'm so incredibly sorry. Like, I get it. They're girl groups in the 90s, but, like, we could have did literally anybody else. In Vogue, TLC, like, literally anybody else. Escape, I'm sorry to the Escape girls out there, but, like, in terms of, like, the 90s girl groups, Escape's at the bottom of the pyramid for me, babes. Nothing about them stuck out to me. Nothing about them was screaming, like, oh, phenomenal, like, it's giving... Like, like, nothing about S Escape really stuck out to me compared to the other groups, especially vocal-wise. Like, the songs, like, Just Kicking It is cute. It's cute, but, like, compared to other the other girls, they just wasn't doing it for me personally. And it's like, when you think SWV, that is one of the quintessential 90s girl groups. When you think about a song like Week, a song that people to this day will sing to prove that they can sing down, it's just unserious to me that you would think that Escape is on par with a group of that caliber. Like, I'm so incredibly sorry. You have Weak, you have Right Here Human Nature Remix, you have I'm So Into You, Rain. Like, stop it. I need you to stop. And those are just like the hits. We're not talking about deep cuts and all those type of things, right? Like, you cannot tell me when you think 90s girl groups. Obviously, we think TLC and Destiny's Child, even I know they're more so like late 90s, early 2000s. But you think them too. But SWV is right up in there. Right up in there, Okay. And like I said, I would even accept them doing it with like In Vogue because In Vogue be singing down. But Escape, you're not thinking of some singing ass singers when you think of Escape. Like, I'm so incredibly sorry. And we already know how we feel, especially about Candy and Tiny as singers. Like, wonderful songwriters. Wonderful songwriters. The pen is immaculate with Miss Candy Burris. We cannot deny that because she did write No Scrubs. And obviously, who does not love No Scrubs? Who does not love Bills, Bills, Bills? 
we love. But also, there's a reason why she probably gave them songs away. Like, I'm... And I know she wasn't mad singer. I don't know how. Don't know. But I do not like Candy's voice. Ooh. I'm sorry, Candy girl. I like you. I do. But let's get serious. Let's get serious. Compared to Coco, the Coco, you can't hold a candle to Miss Coco. Like, I'm so sorry. I ain't nobody. But that's just what I gotta say about that. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Legs and hips and body was a good time, though. Legs and hips and body, body, body. Remember that trend? Hilarious. But yeah, no. <laughs> like, the fact, I think I said, I blame verses. Guys, like, that's, that's how you know, like, when that verses happened, that's when you know verses as an entity started going downhill. Because y'all just started putting people together that make no goddamn sense. Like, oh, y'all existed in the same time frame? Boom, put them together. No. 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 Because I didn't even watch it, but I'm like, what exactly did they have for week? What was their, the, the song that they put up to go against week? I would love to hear it because it's not it's not seeing it. Like I said, of course they had like some solid hits, but like I said, their hits compared to SWV hits, nowhere near it. And like I said, when we're talking about the vocal talent, there's a reason why the group name is Sisters with Voices. I'm just don't shoot the messenger, honey. That's all I gotta say about that. Moving right along, babes. Let's talk about TikTok finna get banned, honey. TikTok is about to get banned for the billion time. I don't understand what it is about TikTok and the government, why they keep trying to get rid of it. Like what they're like, the young people are having fun. None of that. None of that is happening here. But like there's a hearing going on today trying to ban TikTok, trying to say it's stealing people's data and it's harmful and all of these things. And like, while I have some in particular gripes with TikTok, I feel like the gripes with TikTok is really no different than like literally any other social media platform because the issue that most people have with TikTok is like one, white people stealing content and getting famous for it more than the black creators who created said thing in the first place and black creators getting shadow banned and not getting recognition. Like, that's where my issues lie with TikTok is just that. Just the stealing of the content. Nobody really cracking down on that. And like I said, every time TikTok, you know, if a certain dance trend gets popular or if a certain thing trend gets popular and a black person originated originated it, it is more often than not that that original black creator is not going to get the shine that a white creator that just did the trend or whatever would. Like, that's my issues with TikTok for the most part. But like I said, this is nothing new. This is something we've seen on Instagram, stuff we've seen on Vine, stuff we've seen on YouTube. This is a tale as old as time. Like, white people stealing black people's stuff and taking credit for it. That's, like, that's even before social media. So, like, should TikTok get banned for that? No. I also think sometimes when it comes to certain harmful rhetoric, when it comes to racism and like misogyny, homophobia, transphobia, like all of that stuff, they need to crack way down on that a little bit more. But once again, this is no different than things that we have seen on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Like we've seen these things before. Like so TikTok is no, it's not like TikTok is the place where like everything goes to crap. Like it's just like, no, all of these social media platforms have potential for harm have been doing the same thing. So why is TikTok where we draw the line? And furthermore, government, come come with me. We have bigger fish to fry. Like we year three in a pandemic, okay? California is having snowstorms, rainstorms, wildfires, tornadoes all going on within a week. Let's discuss and figure that out, okay? The student loan debt thing, What's that? What's that giving? Are we canceling the no the loans or not? Nah? Let your girl know. Do you understand? Is Trump going to jail? Is that still happening? What like what is this? 
Why is TikTok what we're focused? Y'all always focus on the wrong goddamn thing. You want to focus on TikTok right now? Like, get serious. I don't understand that. But, like, I highly doubt TikTok would get banned. But I'm just like, the issues with TikTok is not going to start and end with TikTok. There will be another app that will have a similar issue. So, like, what what is the problem here? It, TikTok ain't truly bothering nobody. Like I said, not more than anybody else. Like, let the kids have fun, okay? That's that on that, okay? Uh, the last thing I want to briefly talk about is Mr. John Morant coming home, honey. Okay, well, he, he didn't go to jail. I'm not talking about he, he coming home, but... um. I don't really talk about sports like that, but I like John Morant because he's like a big, like kind of meme, if you will, on TikTok. Even though he's a real person, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's the it's per, it's a parade inside my city. Yeah, it's a parade inside my city. Yeah, it's a parade inside my city. Yeah, floor. It's a parade inside my city. Yeah. Okay, um, he like that was like it's like a big trend on TikTok right now, and that's his thing. Um, but he was in hot water because he decided to wave the blicky on the Instagram live not too long ago and he got suspended for a couple of games. He had to go ahead and do the PR interview, honey, be like, I'm a changed man. Okay, I ain't gonna do it no more. I'm trying to be a role model, all that jazz. But my man was back on his bullshit the moment he stepped back on that field, okay? <laughs> All right, back on his bullshit, and I was here. To, I was here for it. I'm sorry. Like, should John Morant have waved the blicky on Instagram Live? No, I don't know why John Morant has a has a blicky to begin with. I don't. I, he would wave said blicky on Instagram Live. That's just a bit silly. But like, he is pretty young, right? He's what 23. Yeah, you know, every time a certain athlete gets in trouble for doing something a bit serious. Uh, Doing some a bit silly, like, you know, like the marijuana charges or like those little like minor things. We love that we always see the respectability politics and everybody's an expert. Everybody's like, well, he should be a role model in these things. It's like people came to play a sport. They didn't ask to be nobody's role model. And it's like I said, it's only black. Um, it's always black athletes, black singers, black rappers that have to be the role model for the people when like they didn't sign up for that. They came to do a job, and that's it. Like, stop looking for these people to be a role model to y'all goddamn kids. Like, I'm so sorry about it. Like I said, should John Moran have been waving the blicky on the Instagram Live? No. But, like, it's really not that serious. Like, this whole respectability politics thing y'all do every single time some young athlete or some young, like, black celebrity does something a bit stupid, y'all always get to act like y'all always knew what you're supposed to be doing your whole lives and that... Oh, we need to, we, we can't embarrass ourselves in front of Asa. Like, it's, it's, it's giving very much that. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, it's fine. John Morant will be fine. Okay, he will, he will, what's the dance he's doing? I forget the name of the dance that he be doing. It's a name, I, I don't know what it is. Is it called a gritty? I sound like somebody auntie now. Okay, I'm getting there. I'm getting to the RC age, honey, where, like, I'll be knowing what the name of the dances the kids is doing no more. Okay, uh, but John Morant will be fine. Okay, he'll be fine. Y'all need to leave that boy alone. Talk about it's the parade inside the jail cell. Just leave that boy alone. Stop it. He is not going to nobody jail. <laughs> Those are all my thoughts and opinions on the happenings in the past couple of weeks. Um, y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on any of the topics we discussed down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll definitely see y'all in my next video. Peace out, y'all.